This movie is going to go over how to add, subtract, and multiply decimals. Now when you add and subtract decimals, adding and subtracting decimals is pretty much the same as adding and subtracting whole numbers except for one important thing that you must line up the decimal points. Okay, I cannot express this enough. You must line up the decimal points. This is the most important thing when adding and subtracting decimals. For example, if you wanted to um, add 2.25 and 3.33, you have to line up the decimals. Now this one is not as hard because it has the same number of digits. See how this decimal point is lined up? When you add, the decimal point comes straight down. So then you would, after you put your decimal point, then you can add. 5 plus 3 is 8, 2 plus 3 is 5, decimal point straight down, 2 plus 3 is 5. If you want to subtract them, you would do 5.76 minus 4.55, same thing. The decimals are lined up and it comes straight down into the problem. 6 minus 5 is 1, 7 minus 5 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1. Now, let's do this again. 3.56 and 2.56. The decimal point is lined up. Bring it down. 6 plus 6 is 12, carrier 1. 11, carrier 1, 6. 7.51 minus 2.26. The decimal points are lined up. Eleven minus six is five. Four minus two is two, and seven minus two is five. Again, the most important thing is line up the decimals. Now, you can also add zeros when adding and subtracting decimals from whole numbers. Like adding zeros when comparing decimals, we want the numbers to have the same number of place values so it's easier to add and subtract. For example, if we were subtracting 0.25 from 4, we would first set up the problem like this. We have 4, and then you wouldn't do this, minus 0.25, because the decimal points are lined up. Because remember, in whole numbers, the decimal point is here. So what we need to do is, because there are two numbers after the decimal point here, we need to add two zeros. And then we add up those, or uh, line up those decimals, and then put 0.25. Now if we didn't have these place values, it would look like this. And that's really hard to understand. So we add these zeros here as placeholders, so our problem looks easier to read. Now, why don't you go ahead and try these problems. You first also can use your calculator to um, get the answers, which is fine. But remember, if you're doing these by, by hand, that you need to line up the decimal. So you guys, you try these five problems first by hitting pause. And then when you're ready, hit play again and come back and check your answer. All right, now that you're ready to check your answers, let's see. Number one, you should have gotten 21.2. Number 2, 8.745, 3, 23.65, 4, 12.063, and 5, 41.304. Now remember, like on number 2, to line up your decimals, you have 0 0.045, then line up your decimals, 3.7, and then you have 5. So you need to add those zeros so you can see that's what the problem looks like. So just remember that you need to line up those decimals. Let's try some more. This time we're going to try subtracting. So go ahead and try these and when you're done come back and check your answer. Alright, now that you're back let's check your answers. Number one, you should receive 4.8. Number two, 1.857. Number 3, 5.94. Number 4, 0.039. And number 5, 1.497. Now, when you're multiplying decimals, 
you um, do not need the what the easy what the easiest thing to do is that you need to make sure that you in the answers you count up the numbers that are after the decimal point so for instance in here once we multiply this out we we will go in two place values to put our problem all right so if we would go ahead and multiply this out we're going to put two zeros here because we have our two zeros there six times two is twelve carry our one six times one is six plus one is seven and six times zero is zero so now we have one two three four numbers past the decimal so our answer should look like that. You can also remember that you can drop all zeros at the end, so it really could just look like 0.72. Now, it's much easier to do these bigger problems on your calculator, so go ahead and try 6.41 times 0 0.06. Now remember, here's your decimal point right here. So you're going to go 6.41 times 0 0.06 equals. So you go ahead and try that. And then come back and check your answers for the last two. Okay, now that you're back, now let's just check to make sure our decimal point is in the right place. We have two numbers and two numbers, so that means four numbers ap um, after the decimal point. So one, two, three, four decimal point, that is correct. Here we have two numbers after the decimal point, and we have two numbers in our answer, so that is also correct. Now, to divide decimals, it's much easier just to do this on your calculator as well, but in decimals, when you put a decimal here, the decimal comes straight up into the problem. So you don't have to count, but it's like addition and subtraction. The decimal point goes straight up from where it is. So to try this on your calculator, you would just put You would just put eight. You do eight divide sign four point two. Remember the inside number goes first. So eight divided by four point two is one point nine oh four. 0.7 divided by 4, well it's actually 4 divided by 0.7, you get 5.714. Then 18 divided by 5, 3.75. Hopefully this has given you a better understanding on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals. If you still need help, um, please contact your teacher. Make sure that on your quiz you use your calculator.